Hey everyone, this is Dimitri Pargamonic with MarketChameleon.com. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how you could estimate the probability of touch for a call option. And the idea there is if you have a particular option, let's say that the strike is above this current spot price, and you want to know what is the probability that the stock will move by a big enough percentage to go above that strike and cover the cost of that option what is the probability of that happening and let's use spy as an example here and i'm going to scroll down here to the options chain and i just pick uh, the september 7th expiration and when we did that we get the options chain for september 7th expiration in spy and the first thing we want to do is select an option to analyze so I'm going to pick a strike that is above the um, current spot price. So you could see here SPY, it's currently, let's take a look, around 440. So let's take a strike and let's go up to 447. And we could see that the 447 call option is currently $1.38, $1.39 off. And the question is, well, what is the probability that SPY will increase by a big enough percentage to go above 447 and cover this premium of $1.39? And the first thing is, we don't really know that probability, right? Nobody knows that probability for sure uh, because it's not like flipping um, a coin or a dice where all the potential outcomes are known ahead of time so what we do need to do is look at a different methodology and it can we try to estimate the probability okay and to estimate that probability we're going to try to take historical data and see historically how often did that happen okay and then we're going to estimate the odds based on that data. So a couple things we do have that we could use to help us out. First of all, we see that there are eight trading days left until expiration. So we wanna look at data that has eight days of um, time period between the start to finish, okay? Because we only have eight days, we don't have 20 days or 100 days for this to happen, we have eight days. We also see that this strike is 1.6% away. So we do know that it has to increase by at least 1.6%. And then we got to add the cost of that premium. So let's take a look right now at the data. And I'm going to click on this option, 139. And now we have this uh a ticket the buying the september 7th 447 call for 139 i'm going to click here calculate and it's going to start bringing back statistics for us the first diagram you'll see is just the payout diagram so what we want to do is go to this tab distribution theo and here it's going to give us the statistics based on historical data in spy and up here, we do have parameters. We're going to use four years of data, okay? And we can change that. It's defaulted to four years. So let's see in the last four years, the, what, what is the probability that SPY will increase by enough, by a big enough percentage to cover the cost of this option, okay? And here, I'm going to just reload. I'm sorry, over here is the summary stats. And if we wanted to see all the data, we could hit view. And what this is doing is going back in time and, and looking for eight day returns. Okay, how did SPY do over eight days? And that's over here going back in time. And then it's calculating the percent returns over those eight days. And it's telling us that the probability 
over an eight-day period right now is 19% that the stock historically will move by a big enough percentage to cover the cost of that option, right? And there, here it is, that it, it needs to be above 1.9%, because remember, it has to go above the 447 strike, 1.6%, add the cost of that premium, so that break even is 1.9%. That's what the stock has to do. So over an eight day period, we see that that happened 19% of the time in the last four years. Well, another thing we do have to consider is that within the eight day period, the stock could be volatile, right? It doesn't uh, always finish up the high or the low. And what we wanna know is in between, if we took all the prices in between those eight days, What's the probability of it reaching in a big enough percentage, this up 1.9%, uh, which will give us that probability of touch or that it went up enough to cover the cost of that option. And that here is 30.2%. So you can see here, over an eight-day period, we see the probability is 19%. Over, But if we looked at the probability of touch, 30.2 percent because at any time between you know the start to finish it could move higher and then come back and retrace before at the end of those eight days so that is quickly how to use historical data to estimate the probability of touch for a call option that is out of the money in this example that we used and of course, if you want to start changing some of these parameters, you could go and rerun that analysis. Hopefully, everyone, this was helpful and hope to see you guys in the next video.